how many edges are there in a complete graph? And remember, the number of edges in a graph is called the size of the graph. So that's what we'll be going over in today's Wrath of Math lesson, the number of edges in a complete graph on n vertices. Now there are two explanations I'd like to provide to this problem. I'll do one in, an, in another lesson and we're going to cover one of the explanations in this lesson. I put them both into one, but this is my first lesson on a whiteboard, so I'm still sort of getting used to things, so we're going to start small. Now remember, a complete graph on n vertices is denoted like this, k subscript n, and it's a graph with n vertices where every pair of vertices is joined by an edge. So real quick, most of you probably don't need it, but just a quick example. Here's a complete graph on four vertices. We've got our four vertices, and then every pair of vertices is joined by an edge, and that's what makes it complete. It's complete because it's got every possible edge that it can have. Now, how many edges can a graph possibly have? The maximum number is the number of edges that a complete graph has. Of course, with graphs like this, where every pair of vertices is joined by an edge, you might think we could find a formula for the number of edges based on the number of vertices. And of course, we can. Now, what defines an edge? Let me switch colors here. What defines an edge? Well, you need two vertices, right? You need two endpoints, and the order doesn't matter. Let's label these vertices A, B, C, D. Now, if we pick any two of these vertices, say A and C, we define an edge. If we pick D and B, we define one edge. So two vertices define an edge, and the order does not matter. DB defines the same edge as BD. So we're trying to count the number of edges in a complete graph on n vertices, which is the same as counting the number of ways we can pick two vertices from a collection of n vertices. And perhaps that language makes you think about something, something called combinations. You might remember this if you've studied some combinatorics. This is called a binomial coefficient. It's the number of ways of selecting R objects from a collection of N objects. It's the number of combinations, so the order doesn't matter. We're just sort of interested in what's in the, what's in the combination, what's in the collection. We're not interested in order. Now, of course, if we were talking about directed graphs, we'd be a bit more interested in order, but we're not. We're talking about simple, undirected graphs. So this is an equivalent problem, trying to count the number of ways we can select two vertices from a graph with n vertices. That's the number of edges it can have. So the solution falls out very naturally from that. If our graph has n vertices, how many edges can it have? Well, it can have n choose two edges, and that's how that's read, n choose two. In this case, it's the number of ways we can select two vertices from a collection of n vertices. Every pair of those vertices will make an edge, and that's the total number of edges we can have. That's the total number of edges in a complete graph with n vertices. Now, what is this actually equal to? What's the formula? It's equal to n factorial divided by two factorial multiplied by n minus 2 factorial. And if you're pretty familiar with combinations and why this formula works, then this should all seem fairly beautiful and make a lot of sense to you. If you aren't as familiar with this, then of course you could go study it a little bit to get more familiar with it. Um, but the next explanation we'll cover in the next lesson will uh, perhaps be more interesting to you because it's really just talking about graph theory and we don't have to use combinations. But so this is the number. This is the number of edges in a complete graph with n vertices. And we can actually simplify it a little bit, so let's do that. What do we have in the numerator? We've got n factorial, which is n times n minus 1 times n minus 2, and so on, all the way down to a multiplication by 1. And then in the denominator, we've got 2 factorial, which is 2 times 1, which is just 2, multiplied by n minus 2 factorial which is n minus 2 minus 3 and down to a multiplication by 1. You can see it's going to be a whole lot of cancellation there, all right? Our n minus 2s cancel out, n minus 3s, all of those terms are going to cancel out. We're just left with. 
we're just left with n times n minus 1 in the numerator, trying to stay out of the way of the writing here. And then in the denominator, all we're left with is 2. Pretty beautiful. So that's the number of edges in a complete graph with n vertices. Again, the reasoning is it takes two vertices to make an edge. Two vertices define an edge. So the total number of edges we can have in a graph with n vertices is the total number of ways we can select two vertices from a collection of n vertices. And that number, the total number of possible edges, is the number of edges that are in a complete graph, because a complete graph on n vertices has every possible edge. So let's quickly uh, try applying this formula to our example with four vertices. Since this complete graph has four vertices, it should have four multiplied by four minus one over two edges. And what's that equal to? Well, four minus one is three, so that's four times three, which is 12, divided by two, which is six. Now, if we count those edges, just switch colors again to purple. How many edges do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six edges. It's beautiful. It works. Of course, that doesn't prove it, but our general reasoning is the justification. The justification for why this is going to work for every complete graph. Now, the uh, other argument we'll use in the next lesson is concerned with the degrees of the vertices. So if you're interested, you could try working that explanation out yourself, and you should get the same thing. So that's where we'll leave it. Let me just give you a couple problems to try on your own. Try to find the number of edges in the complete graph with five vertices and in the complete graph with seven vertices. And let me know what you get down in the comments. I will, of course, leave the solution in the description. So, I hope this video helped you understand how many edges there are in a complete graph and why there are that many edges in a complete graph. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Link to his music in the description.